And hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age on the PlayStation 4. I'm Nicodemus Kane. We're back inside of the Ridona, what, what, uh, Ritorana, oh, it's the Pharos of the Ritorana. Yeah, uh, it's right outside the cataract. So we are back in here in this crazy magic place. We just got done opening some seals and it said that this should be working. So we're going to touch the device, and we're going to see where we're going. We're going to see what's up. And this is totally the place I remember. I, I was talking in the last episode that there's there's a couple of areas inside of Final Fantasy XII that I distinctly remember. For whatever reason, they they always come to mind whenever I uh, whenever I think about Final Fantasy XII, and this is one of them. And, man, look at this. Okay, so, um... Wow. Can we open these doors? Okay. Nothing over this way. There's one of these things. Information posts <laughs> is what I'm going to call them. Uh, you who crawl upon the clay, yet yearn for heaven's path, made by our will. Tongue of stones, green flame, your way bespeaks. When stone face lit by green flame falls, then flame returns to stone. The path is clear. Um, take notes, there will be a quiz in the morning. That's all I can say. Or if I should still keep trying to get, the. Uh, Oh, there's no... Oh, good. These guys don't drop orbs. Good. Sheesh. <laughs> I guess that's only on the first floor. Yeah, man. I totally remember this. Dude. It just... It, it means I've spent a lot of time in this area. For whatever absurd reason. It means that I've spent a lot of time in this area. Uh, especially to be able to evoke these kind of memories, you know, from the past. Oh. oh. I kill these guys and then... Do they stay... Oh, okay. That's... Yeah, man, I remember this! It's, it's so cool when you, uh, especially at my age, because, you know, I'm old. I'm older. I'm not old, old. It's not like I'm 50 or anything. Even though that's right around the corner now. But, uh... It, especially at my age, you know, trying to remember stuff you, uh... You, were, you remembered whenever you were, like, in your 20s, in your 30s. You know, it, it gets a little harder. Um, I know my brain's not perfect, but, you know, I can, I can remember some stuff. But, uh... I didn't steal from this guy. I wanted to steal from this guy. Oh, well, I can't steal from him anyway, so whatever. Die. But when you see stuff like this, especially when it comes to video games, uh, you know, you, you areas. Because I've I've come to learn, especially over the past couple years of doing these Final Fantasy games, that a lot of my memories are not what I remember, you know? It's, uh... uh not only, you know, the certain things that happen inside of these games but the the reasons that I bought certain games or the the circumstances of why I bought certain games and this asshole's gonna fly right up to us isn't he screw up <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about him but <laughs> you know just the, the whole uh, the whole thing about well that was might as well just kill him because this is it's an open area but, uh, you know, not only the whole thing about, like, being able to recognize maps inside of video games, like the, you know, the Grand Theft Auto maps, that was one thing that we had talked about uh, somewhere along the line was, you know, there's, there's certain areas, certain maps that you just, you memorize, because it's just, you're constantly there. Um, well, like, like the Final Fantasy XI. You know, you go through Final Fantasy XI, and there's certain areas that just you you remember. You know, and, and uh, like Final Fantasy X, I 
There's parts of Final Fantasy X I could probably run through with my eyes closed. So, you know, just just little things like that, and then you... There's just so many massive things that you forget, you're just like, oh, wow, man, where the hell did this come from? So it's just, it, when you get those sparks, you know, when, whenever the two brain cells in your head finally crash together and, and form, a, form a memory, it's like, ooh. Uh, on paths must you rely, and by path of living flame have you come. Frozen in stone, and the green flame passes from time. Stone now, and evermore. So it basically means whenever you kill these guys that have the green flames coming out of them, then uh, you pass over top of the, uh, the stones, they stay there. That's pretty much what it said. Boss, did you get a level? Yes, you did. You still are not catching up to Fran, though. Which... The Dragon Helm. We gotta check this. We gotta check this in a while. Holy Lance and Dragon Helm. Alright. Zewell, Crossblade. Celebrant's Miter. Sweep. Sweep. Okay, well, the first thing I want to do... Make sure that none of, the, none of this crap has uh, anything stupid on it. Because, you know, they just love to... Uh, they just love to give you the random stuff that'll put, like, the... The ultimate, you know, reflect on it or whatever, and you can't heal yourself. You know, stupid crap like that. But apparently we're doing alright. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do remember these. You know, I wonder. And I don't know. I, I don't think it is what it is. But maybe they did. But... So I, I've been watching uh, the real high... Blah, 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 blah. The real Silent Hill, um, what is it, history? The real Silent Hill story? I don't know what the hell it was. And, uh, you know, they were talking about the remakes of, uh, or not the remakes, the, um, the upscale, whatever the hell you want to talk about, of Final Fantasy, or Final Fantasy, hear me? God, man, I'm all over the place. Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 and uh, they were talking about how well they're talking about how bad they were because really they were bad I I couldn't even play through the I couldn't even play through the one because I was like ah, they changed it so much I can't I can't do it because you know you play a game and you just remember so many certain things about a game that you know, it's it's like ingrained in your head but they were talking about you know, whenever they remastered the game, instead of, instead of, like, forming it to fit the screen the right way, they just, they just zoomed into, uh, they just zoomed into the picture, and it just, it didn't look right. And the one thing I've had a problem with, with this game, more than anything else, is I feel like I'm a little bit too close to the character. Uh, I don't, I don't know, you know, I mean, maybe they zoomed in, <laughs> I, I don't really know, I don't think they did, you know, I just, I wish I could zoom out of the character a little bit more, I like to have the area open that I can see, it's just a perf personal preference, but I don't know, I was just thinking about that, um, is that, you know, well maybe that's what, what they did was they zoomed in a little bit more so that the screen, they didn't have to, change the dynamics of how far the screen should be, you know, trying to render out. I don't know. Okay. Had to take a drink, guys. On sight must you rely at mercy of the currents of this fading world. Seduced by false illusion, it is the fool who cuts not his own path. Celestial glory ne'er to behold. And I have no idea what that means. Maybe it means that we shouldn't be, uh... What the hell? Is that over here? What is over here? Maybe it means we should just watch out what we're doing? <laughs> Maybe? 
Or maybe it could be. They're fool's facade. Ha ha ha! Strike the wall. It just it didn't look right. So I was like, it just it looks weird over here. Really? That's the best treasure we have? 171 gil. That's all this was. This is like a Minecraft room, man. It's like you spend all that time in Minecraft and you find this really great room. You're just like, oh, dude, this will be awesome. And you find out there's nothing in it. Just a waste of time. And come on, you guys have done that before. You go down into the mines in Minecraft and you're like... You're digging through all the spider webs, or you know, you're digging through all the bullshit, and then there's just like one room that has a treasure chest. You're like, oh yeah, man, you get in there, and it's like buckets. <laughs> I've had that happen. It's just where there's nothing, and you're just like, oh, come on, seriously. See, it makes me wonder if that's a fool's facade over there, too. And I know there was one downstairs as well. There was one down on the first floor that was like that. That makes me think. Uh, other pus bucket. Look at this. We're off the map. Look at us getting all off the map. So, was that because this staircase is, um, never mind. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, man. Alright. <laughs> what the hell was that? Seriously. Quality stone. Keep stealing dark crystals. Another quality stone. I'm not worried about Doom. Doom will go away. I don't even know how to... I, I, I think there's a way to heal Doom. I don't know. Or get rid of Doom. I know the best way to get rid of Doom is Fantastic Four, but we don't have that spell right now, so we... Doo -doo. Whoa, where's my, where's my uh, rim shot? I need my rim shot. Doo -doo. Or 26. I just noticed that on the floors. I, I haven't even been paying attention. Or 27. I have no idea where we're going. You know, we're just, we're just, we're going up. I remember this. I remember all these floors, man. Dude. Then fighting your way through and then um, going up and down. Because I know once you get to the top, you got to come back down for something or there's some kind of opening somewhere that you got to come back down to or something. I don't know what the hell it was. It's not a uh, not a perfect system. Are you going to die yet or what? So you can get that doom off of you. Which which Final Fantasy was it? Was, I think it was one of the older ones. That when they got doom on them, it's like they were banished forever or something. Or was that during a boss fight? It might have been during a boss fight. Yeah, see, she died, and then we just brought her back to life. Ancient door. Okay. I since it was red, it would be closed, but, or locked. see what this one says. Wingless child consigned to walk the world below. Many are the works whose natures a duality possess. Oh, there's more. 
When stone face lit by red flame falls, then red flame turns to stone. The path is clear, but stone born of green flame to darkness fades. Oh, shite. Okay. So now we have to worry about the red flames, but every time we kill a red flame when the green flames die, is that what that's saying? So basically we have to watch out for the red flame assholes. Right. Okay. Which may not be so easy. I don't know. That's red flame. I don't know, uh, I don't want to beat him. That red flame still out there? Or do we kill him? See, look, it did it. When you so every time you kill a red one, it loses one of the things. But because there's two of them here, I was able to do it. Okay, something to be careful of. That reminds me of uh, the green things falling down. Like anybody remember Intelligent Cube on the PlayStation? Like, one of the hardest games in the world to be able to find at this point, you know? I, I think I tried on eBay, like, uh, two years ago. I found one for less than $20, which is nice, because those, those games are so expensive now. But, uh... I can't wait a minute. Green flame. We do not want the red flames. We want the green flames. It doesn't make it easy because they do not show up on the map. I look at this place now. Holy crap. Tower of Babel. But, um, no, Intelligent Cube, I had a demo for Intelligent Cube. Um, one of the first green. He's green. One of the first uh, demos I got with my PlayStation when I bought it was um, was it the PlayStation Underground, maybe? It might have been. I played, that I played that demo forever because it had like four or five really great games on it. And uh, I played the hell out of it. But one of the demos on it was Intelligent Cube, and it was one of the games that I just, I always wanted to have, but I just never was able to find it. Because, uh, you know, when I first got to PlayStation, we lived down in the boondocks. And it, it wasn't, it didn't have that much of a, uh, it didn't have that much of a run to begin with, you know? They only made so many of them. And, uh... I never really found it. I, I think I found it once at a at either a Best Buy or Circuit City or something, but I didn't have the money for it, which sucked so bad. I was like, oh God, I want this. But I couldn't buy it. And, uh... Ah, shit. He's red, I guess, over on this side. Whew. Oh, why has he got to be right there? What a dick. If we can avoid him. Oh, we're not done yet. No, 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 no. Come on, guys. No, 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 no. Come on. You stay away from him. <laughs> you don't get to you don't get to mess with him. Hopefully these guys won't aggro back to the one. 
but it it was one of those that I always wanted. I mean, there's so many games. Oh, I, I sold so many PlayStation games. I regret. I regret it so much. How many PlayStation games I wound up selling. Um, whenever I was broke. I still need more? What? Son of a bitch. Where are we at? Can I... Do they respawn? But when I was broke and I had to pay the bills, you know, I had to pay my, uh... See, there's red right there, but... Can't see down there. It's probably because they're not drawing in. But I had, uh... Am I missing something? Did I miss an area? Shit. Oh, they do respawn. Okay. Good. But I'd gotten so broke, I, I I sold my Dreamcast. I sold all my Dreamcast games, which just sucks because the Dream that is so hard to find those games now. Um, not only that, but the um, I had strategy guides for several of those Dreamcast games, and I uh, I saw <laughs> Shinmu is the worst. <laughs> I had the strategy guide for Shinmu. I had Shinmu and I had the strategy guide. I didn't have the collector's edition, but I had the uh, I had the, the regular edition for Shinmu and the strategy guide. And we were out at um, half price books. If you guys know what half price books is, and um, we. <laughs> We saw a, a copy of the... We saw a copy of the Shinmu Strategy Guide, and they wanted $80 for it. And I was like, you got to shit me. $80. And then we, uh, I, I looked it up, and it's like, that's that's about going rate for what this thing is. Like, 80 bucks for the Shinmu Guide. And I sold that. Back in the day, I think I only got like... <laughs> well... I bet you I got nothing, because back then, strategy guys were worthless. You know, I, I got $120 for my, uh... See, there's places here, too, which makes me think there's more places. But I got, like, a... I think it was 150 bucks for the Dreamcast and the games and a whole bunch of PlayStation games. And, uh, just not to pay the bills. Like I said, I, I was broke. I needed, I needed money. But I was able to get that... And then I had all the strategy guides. I had the keyboard, the the Dreamcast keyboard, and you know I had the uh, oh, the what should we call it? The little the little handheld uh, VMUs. I think that's what they called them. Crap. Is there like a blanket gambit thing that I can just turn them off and on? Just run through these assholes. Is there? Oh, geez. Okay. Really? What was I saying? <laughs> I don't even remember what the hell I was saying now. Um, but yeah, the the uh, the um, selling those damn games, selling uh, yeah, and I I picked I picked the games that I was like, well, you know, <clears throat> I'll be able to get them back eventually. You know, it was one of those types of deals where it was like. 
you know, sooner or later I'll be able to get them back. I'm not really worried about them so much, you know, those types of things. Some of them I really didn't want to get rid of. The biggest one I got rid of was Xenogears. But I knew that it was going to be expensive because it was a it was a low run game, and I had already known that you know, like I said, it's going to be one of those that I'm going to get some cash out of it. I can go in there, a little area in there that I missed. There's a couple little areas that I'm missing. I should probably go through. Wait, did he have a? But there were a lot of games that I, I just I, I didn't want to sell. You know, I my uh, looking looking at my PlayStation collection now, my PS1 collection now, and thinking back on all the games I used to have, yeah, it's twice the size, man. I, but it's oh. Oh, that's what I was picking up. Okay. You know, it's like I... I, I think all those games... And I kept all the stickers, too. So, so this is this is a weird one. Okay, this is weird. So I kept the, uh, you know, how on the top of CDs back in the day you would get these, you know, the stickers, like little safety stickers that, uh, that you'd have to peel off and you know, in order to be able to get into the to get into the game so I would because they were PlayStation I would peel off ah, crap I would peel off the safety stickers and then I would uh I'd put them on the the little side on the front of the CD, of the CD case, you know, that little tiny strip, like how you open it up, and this is the, that little tiny uh, plastic strip. I put the stickers on there, you know, just to, just to have them. I, I was just something something stupid to do, you know. But I did that for all my all my PlayStation games. And, uh, no, 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 no. Where's Ash? Why is she not here? Really, Lila? You're right. I got my dog behind beside me, as usual, and she's like right up my ass. She decided she wants to turn, and she's got her butt sticking right up next to me. You better not fart, dog. I swear I'll be so pissed. But, um... Yeah, I, I... When I had to sell all my games, I, uh... I made sure to, to keep all those stickers. So I, I took all those stickers and I put them on the top of a... Uh, some kind of CD case, or some kind of DVD case. I don't know what the hell it was. Um, I think it was like an AOL case or something. And I kept them all, and there's like, there's like 30 stickers on there. Like, holy crap, man, you know? These are PlayStation 1 games, too. I'm like, holy... Yeah, what the hell? Is because back then, in the... I always like to say back in... Like, it was 99, 98, 99. Uh, going into 2000. Uh, PlayStation 1 games were not rare at all. <laughs> they were... They were... Um, they were very easy to come by, and they were cheap as hell. Um, especially some of the uh, some of the off-brand ones, and I bought a lot of off-brand. I I would go into like uh, Circuit City used to be the best. You, you'd go into Circuit City, and you could pick up some of the some of the also ran games for like. 10 bucks a piece. I, I, I had so much disposable income back in the day, it was ridiculous. So I would 
I would just go in there and just buy games, you know. No, no matter what it was, even even the dumbest of games, I'd buy it. Just because it was a game I could buy. You know, just because I could do it. So I had games upon games upon games, and I had the big hits, too. I, You know, the Metal Gear Solid, uh, the Resident Evil. I had, at one point in time, I wish I would have kept them. And I even said that during my uh, Resident Evil playthrough, that I used to have the Director's Cut, I had the standard edition, I had the director's cut edition, and then I had the super director's cut edition, the one, the dual shock director's cut edition. Like I said, disposable income. I had money coming out of my ass. I, uh, you just, you can't do that anymore. You know, there's, there's, that was, that was back, uh, back before the entire world went to shit. Um, but I was making, I was making good money. I was living on potato chips and, and microwave pizzas and I was the uh, the place I was renting was only like man, I was only paying $200 a month if I remember right you know so it was it was good times it was good times I just I didn't save any money I just spent all my money everything I had I, I just spent it it's like screw it um but I, I bought PlayStation games, tons upon tons upon tons of them. Um, my deceptions, I I miss my deception games. I really do. Those were some of the. I had um, I had two of them. If I remember right, maybe I only had one. I don't know. What does this say? Ignorant child whose works are ephemera and folly. Never forgets, it is not your power which over the temporal world holds sway, but our king's own providence. Okay. The one deception, though, I really love that one. And I got the new one. Um, what was it? The deception... Oh, man. It's on the PlayStation 4, was it? It's over there and I can't see it. I don't even think it's called Deception, is it? Yeah, it is. Deception 4. Yeah. Love that game. Such a great game. I, I, I regret selling it. I really do. It was such a good game. I, I laugh my ass off at that game. Because that's the one where you uh, you can set the traps. You can make the guys fly you know, through the air. You can set up this like massive... Uh, this massive trap for these guys to, to hit. You know, fly through the air and do all this crap. Uh, set up the chains. Ugh, that was so great. I love that. It was such a good game. Let's see what's over here first. Nada. Let's see what this has to say. Uh, ignorant child, blind, whither you go, and whence you come, it is the undying who straighten the weave you tangle so, who choose the path you must walk. So has it been, and so shall it be, as befits those of our wisdom, ever living. Okay. But I know I had that. I At one time I had all the Tomb Raiders, too, if you can believe that. Every single one of the Tomb Raiders, even the bad ones I had the Tomb Raiders. Played the shit out of them, too. I think I only got, like, one of the Tomb Raiders. <laughs> I got a couple of the Tomb Raiders now. I, I It's... Like I said, PlayStation 1 games, I do not know why they are so hard to find. They made, like, millions of those games, and you, they're so hard to find. And they're so expensive, too. Every time I do find one, guys want $30 a piece for them. You know, I'm like, God, I can't, I can't do that, man. Well, this looks like a big old, uh... This looks like a big old open area. I'm pretty sure this is going to be some kind of fight. Reading description, ahead the watcher waits, second of three. Ye without strength, return whence you come. Or did I say came? I don't know. I would love to have all my PlayStation games back. I really would. Uh, there's a lot of my PlayStation 2 games that I gave up that I wouldn't mind having back either. But I will get them eventually. Okay.
like like my eco and my shadow of the colossus i definitely regret getting rid of i know uh, the only reason i got rid of them is because i know that they were redoing them on the playstation 3 uh even though at the time i didn't even own a playstation 3 i still got rid of them i was like damn it and now i, I the one i keep seeing is like 11 dollars like come on man you don't want 11 dollars for this game what really pisses me off is the uh, this is the disc replay that's down the street from us. They want eleven dollars for Eco, but they have like six copies. It's like screw you, dude. You know you're gonna have a, you're gonna have like six copies of this game. You're gonna charge that much for it, man. Why don't you lower the price and you won't have so many copies of this game? Even though I think either somebody bought them or somebody uh, or they they like transferred them to another store. Because I haven't seen him lately, um, so I don't know what happened to him. I know every now and then they'll have like a 40% off or 50% off PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 2 games, not PlayStation, PlayStation 2 games. And I try to go in there and clean up uh, the best I can. I uh, usually wind up just getting a whole bunch of crap. But hey, you know my PlayStation 2 collection looks pretty cool. <laughs> Some of those games I'll never play. I want to, though. I keep saying I'm going to, uh... I'm just gonna, like, start going through the games and spend, like... You know, maybe do, like, a weekly show where I spend, like, two hours per game and just play the damn game. Just to say that I played the game. I don't know. I might do that. I might not. You never know. I guess the only way for you to know is to stay tuned! Are we actually dying? I mean, is it is it really that bad that we're we're this thing is killing? Oh, I guess he is hitting a thousand a thousand HP at a time. He's almost dead, guys. Come on, we're trying to heal each other and kill this damn Bosh. What are you doing? Bosh is just standing there like a doof. There, that's all you needed. We literally only needed one hit, and Bosch was just kind of standing there, just looking around like he's dumb. <sighs> well, it's about time on that one. Holy smokes. What a weirdy sword. I wonder if that's practical. You think that sword is practical? You think that sword could be practical? I mean, it... it I don't know. It, it just seems like one of those swords that uh, you figured, like, one of these cosplay guys would have would have built by now. Like the, like the dragoon spear. I actually saw a dragoon spear. Somebody had made one at... Um, it was one of our... Uh, Oh, man. I think it was a Gen Con that uh, this guy had made one of the spears, and I was like, holy crap! You know, and it was full size. It was like 15 feet long. It was ridiculous. Um, I don't know why I did a complete spin there. I'm looking for, like, treasure chests. So that's that. So did I just hear a bling or beep? So, is this just a big old circle? If it's treasure chest there, that would be the way too. That's that's Final Fantasy logic yet again. That they would hide a treasure chest. About, oh God. Undin Intites. Stole a face stone from it. Oh crap. Um. Is it immune to. Oh man. Alright, hold on a second. 
Apparently whatever Balthier has, he is immune to. Well then here, let's do this. Oh, he's locked. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Let's just burn this guy down and get it over with. I never miss. My regards. You're going to love this one. And I could swear we also had more time to be able to pull these things off. I could be wrong. Either that or I'm just slower than I, than I was back in the day. Maybe that's it. Maybe the PlayStation was slower. Maybe that's what it was, is the PlayStation would lag out because of all the graphics. So it would just, it would just look like it was slower. Oh man, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Is that you'd find out that, that the game actually doesn't perform the same way because because of the uh, because of the graphics are actually pulling it <laughs> the way that it was supposed to be pulled. Skadoosh! There was there was one time I do remember where I was able to get like ten of these things off. I mean it was it was nuts and it was during one of the big bosses too. It's like I as soon as I got into the boss fight, I pulled it. And um, it's just I kept getting lucky and it just it was like bam, bam, bam. I can't I, that didn't work. What I get maybe six or seven off on that one? But it just it kept going and kept going and kept going. And I just kept getting luckier and luckier, and I you, know, you could just see the time running out and getting shorter and shorter. You're just like I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, and it just kept going and kept going, and it was like the biggest overkill ever. It was so ridiculous. And yeah, this thing is just about dead, so. Come on, a little bit more. And he's dead. And I got another phase stone, which I, I, they're for something, I'm sure. They're for uh, some kind of weapon. I, I still have not looked into what weapons we should be worried about. Is there a treasure back here? X potion and that's uh, touch device please tell me we're gonna go back to a there, there's gonna be another save crystal up here just in case okay second ascent Reach of Diamond Law. Reach of Diamond Law. Okay. Um. No treasure. No treasure! Altar of Wealth. Uh, here make make of your wealth an offering hoarded in staunchless avarice. Surrender it. Only then the path to tread. Oh, okay. Was I supposed to have a certain amount of money? Oh god, how much did you take money from me? I have no idea what happened. Wealth, wealth avails you not. Okay. 
Wait. Oh, we can't use... Is that saying we can't use items up here? Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> um, that kind of sucks. Okay, so what's this? Ancient letters, hang, yada, yada, yada. Rare souls who cost tower and sky. You alone, binding magic stir. You whom worldly props are now denied on your own selves must you rely. Fed, on, fed of stores from harvests past. So basically, they cut off our items. Lovely. There's a whole bunch of other stuff going on down here. Should I? Yeah. We'll just go. <laughs> we'll just go. We'll start worrying about save crystals here in a little bit. Well, these guys are like stupid easy to kill. That guy called an Abaddon. Or is that a bad? So you know, uh, a bad. Yeah. So. Um, in Revelations, when the uh, when the pit to hell is opened, and up from the pit will rise Abaddon, also known as Apollyon in the Greek, Apollo. Just something interesting to know. And then, of course, you know, you if you get uh, if you follow follow rabbit trails like I do. Of course, you know that um, our wonderful friends at CERN, which I think it's interesting though, because they have a they have an enemy here called Abaddon. When we have a gigantic pit out here, which you have mist rising up from, which uh, is what you know they say is where all this evil comes from. But um, you have your wonder wonderful people out at CERN, and I don't care what you may may or may not may or may not think of them. And I don't even know if this is true. I haven't even really looked at it yet. But when you hear from it from uh, five or six different sources that they built this thing on top of an ancient altar to the uh, it was an uh, it was an altar to the Greek god Apollo. Makes you think. It just makes you think. I'm not saying that is what it is or isn't. You know, I don't uh, I don't really like the idea of it these people are out there messing with the stuff that they're messing with with a gigantic statue of Shiva out in front of the <laughs> out in front of the place yeah, it sets a really good precedence but oh well stuff gets crazy man stuff gets crazy you, know, you start hearing about Mandela effect you find out that you know the most Mandela affected person in the world is, is uh, um, oh I can't remember his name Tom Hanks it's like just about every Mandela effect we have, other than the Star Wars stuff, has to do with Tom Hanks. You know, the uh, the Apollo 13, the uh, Forrest Gump, Sally Fields. Um, you know, it's it's all kind of connected into that. And uh, then you find out that Tom Hanks was actually the one that got to turn on CERN for the first time. I didn't know that. I, I, I didn't know that was a thing. I was like, wait, wait, what? Yeah, it's pretty nuts. It, um, I'm not saying that there's some kind of full circle thing going on there, but it makes you think. It really does make you think. And you can have your opinions on it. I don't know. I mean, it, it sounds nuts. It really does. When you, when you start talking about it like that, it's, it sounds crazy. It, it's like, you know, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do to, to put all this stuff together? Yeah, it's just like, it's, uh, it's weird. Absolutely weird. This this whole world is weird. Of course, I, I always say, you know, you don't have to believe me. Because I would not I would not believe me. To be honest with you, I would not believe me at all. 
ignorant child orphaned from history's truth isn't that exactly that's pretty much similar to what we're talking about uh in heights unknown and unknowable sit we sovereign over y'all over over all no more of this evil east to walk from distant silence watch we your doings beyond the reach of mortal knowing that sounds like the watchers i'm telling you well now we have a map or save crystal around because we're going to start t thinking about oh my god look at this place we're going to start thinking about uh winding this up here i just i just find the connections uh interesting you know and if you don't know how the mandela effect what the mandela effect has to do with cern I suggest you go GTS that. Actually, you probably can't anymore. They're probably censoring that. I don't know. I don't know if they're censoring Mandela Effect or not. I know they're, uh, they they censor you know anything that has to do with like 9-11 and Flat Earth and all that. But I don't know about Mandela Effect. Mandela Effect might still be out there. I don't know. Somebody was saying that uh, it has to be out there. I mean, you know, they're not... They can't just completely and totally pull these things off. At least not yet. I don't know. I don't know if it's even possible. But somebody was saying that there's some kind of esoteric something going on to where uh, we don't think they can just straight up cut us off from the truth. You know, there, there's uh, whatever you want to believe. There's some kind of good and evil happening. It's it's just the way it is. Um, and. The reason that half of us know what we know, which we've known for a while, we, uh, <laughs> man, I'll tell you what, it's been crazy. Um, we, we were watching, or we've been watching, or we started watching, I should say, uh, Hang of the Hill, or King of the Hill, sorry, Hang of the Hill, you hear me? We, we've been watching King of the Hill, and, uh, Boomhauer, dude, not Boomhauer, um, Dale. Is it Boomhauer? No, Boomhauer's the guy that mumbles. Dale. Or what, who's this conspiracy guy? I can't remember his damn name. Anyways, he he went off on a uh, he went off on a UN eugenics uh, zero population thing. You know, the other day with uh, sex education and all this stuff, and it's just it was like the second episode, the second episode, maybe the third episode of the show. And I was like, holy crap, that's what we're talking about now. You know, he's he's talking about this stuff back in, like, 96. And we're just talking about this stuff now. It's like, man, they... And Mike Judge knew what was going on. He had an idea. Of what was going on. I need to find a safe crystal. Now, this is getting ridiculous. But then, of course, everything I've been listening to, it's just been, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just catching up. <laughs> That's all it is. A lot of this stuff I'm just catching up on. And, you know, it's it's like these guys have known this stuff for years. Hey, you hear about these guys. There were guys back in the 60s that were talking about worrying about the stuff that we're having, to, that we're looking into now. And it's like, holy crap, you know. And it's still one of those things, you know, I, I, I say it all the time, you don't, uh, you don't have to believe it. That's not for everybody, you know. Some of us can see the truth, some of us are supposed to see the truth. Some people just aren't supposed to see the truth, it's just the way it is. It actually says that in the Bible, believe it or not. That, you know, not everyone is meant to see what is going on in the world. I thought that was... Opal ring. Anything back there? No. I'm spinning the camera way too much. I know I am. Um, we are getting close on time. I'm actually, we're like right at the one hour mark, and I'm like, I need to. I need to find a save crystal. I need to find something. Shit. All right.
file of serum. What the serum does. Where are we at? We're here and we have not gone to the other side yet. And I know some of these are... Some of these are staircases to the next level. And if I keep following the right path, I'm just going to go right back up into... Uh, it's a loop. I can already see the loop. Because we go up to the next parts. And we go up to the next part and it just loops around. And that probably leads to there. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> this place is huge. As this, this is why I remember this place so much, because you get lost in here, don't you? Holy crap. Is this the final area? I mean, are, is that what this is? Are we in the final area? Does it all lead up to this? I don't know. I think I can go down and find a... Uh, I think I can go down and find a safe crystal. I don't know. So is this... History Shadow Blinded? Yeah, we already saw this. So this goes down. If there was a save crystal down here or not. Hey, this is this is literally just an area that I can just spend hours in. Just trying to get around. Especially if you're following the right path. Save crystal. Okay. So what's this one? Altar of Steel. Here, make of your steel an offering. Hone sharpened days before man's dawn. Surrender it only within the path to tread. Wait, does this mean that the weapons will be... Steel avails you not. That's what it did. And then I bet you the other one is what armor, maybe? So I can't I can't attack. Oh, that sucks. So we gotta go back. We gotta go we gotta run back around this way and we gotta do the because I can live without the I can live without the uh, without the Yeah, the the items. I bet you there's another one that's magic. I bet you that's what it is. So what would the other one be? I mean, like Technics? Maybe? I don't know. We'd have to get over there and I'd have to see. But we're going to head back over to this... Uh... Yeah, see, we don't, we don't need items. We're fine with this. Wait, do I have to... Oh, I have to. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're stopping. <laughs> I gotta stop. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, on the PlayStation 4. I've been Nicodemus Keen. Like, comment, subscribe, or don't. Um, until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Save often. And we'll get through this. I don't know how I'm going to do it without... I'll have to uh, I'll have to pull out all the magic people, and I don't really have that much magic, to be honest. Shit. Who do I have this magic?
can't tell from here, can I? Um. <sighs> it would be Ash. Fran. And. I don't know. I don't know. I will figure it out. I don't want that. Like this, maybe. Like we'd be able to, uh. Like, see, he could do some, and then so it'd be like Vaughn, Fran. I don't know if Bosch could do anything. It'd be like Vaughn, Fran, Ash. Actually, I should just do that. Von Fran Ash, and that's it. Von Fran and Ash. Okay, well, um, when I stop, I'm going to go through the, the gambits and kind of set them up so that we can do this, and then uh, Bob's your uncle. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I shall see you guys next time. Take care.